Hi, I'm Tom and this is Whiskey Shorts. Um, so today we're going to be looking at number 7 in my 101 Whiskies Try Before You Die book, uh, which is by Ian Buxton. Um, and today we're looking at Ardmore. So um, the expression we've got to try from the book is the Ardmore 20 year old and this was kindly provided by uh, Richard's Drams, you can find him on Twitter member of the Black Country Whiskey Society and he's desperate for more corks to build his bar top so uh, if you've got any corks uh, search him out and he'll find a way to recycle them for you. Um, so in the book here um, there's lots of information about the Ardmore, uh, interesting to find out that it was created in the Victorian age, um, lots of its spirit went into the teacher's blend. Um, these days you can find it in supermarkets, um, there is a sort of 20 pound bottle in that you can get, although obviously the 20 year old wouldn't fit into that bracket. Um, it is a lightly peated spirit and uh, the location of the distillery was determined by its proximity to railway lines, um, peat bogs and uh, barley fields, so you know typically well suited for a Victorian distillery. Um, so I guess we'll have a quick look and see what comes through on the nose with this one. Um, I've tried a few Ardmores, I tend to prefer them, independently bottled, um, just been drinking a really nice 10 year old uh, from Mossburn, uh, but this is a, a, a manufacturer a variety. On the nose it's light and fruity, sort of white wine, green grapes, hint of uh, freshly cut grass behind it and some uh, boiled sweets, sort of apple boiled sweets a hint in it maybe a wisp of smoke in the background although I'm not picking it up massively I know Ardmore does use uh, peated malt So, um, on the nose, I think it's really nice, really light and fruity. It's getting me to uh, want to dive in a bit further. So, Slanger. Oh, so that's really um, floral on the palate. Uh, comes in quite soft, quite sort of um, potpourri almost on, on the immediate palette um, before it then whips through with peppery fire little hint of soap but yeah that that sort of full bodiness in the middle is, is really nice and I guess that's where the peat's coming through because I'm getting mint I'm getting um, sort of a, a, f a thickness of body that you don't immediately pick up and one that I haven't picked up on the nose. Yeah, and uh, at the end it just goes at a full on mouthful of fruit. I mean, I've, I've had this sample for a while. Um, it's been sitting on my shelf in front of me. Um, but it's, it's a really nice expression and um, one I'd be tempted to seek out again. It's warming on the finish. Um, I'd say it's quite a long finish on this and really quite pleasant as a dram. So uh, this has only been my first thoughts on a quick review as with all these videos. So I'm going to go away, have a bit of a deeper dive. Um, in the meantime, I hope you can join me for my next video in the 101 Whiskies series or check out some of my other videos on the end credits. So uh, I've been Tom, this has been Whiskey Shorts, thank you and goodbye.